in 2010, you directed a criminally underrated uh, film with so much talent, uh, given some of the best performances of their careers. This is Lewis. Oh God, I, should, I should hire you as my hype man. <laughs> uh, we got you. So that this is this is, and I and I mean this sincerely. My wife and I love this film, and we love everybody in it: Lewis Black, Wayne Wilson, Taraji B Henson, Sarah Silverman, Stephen Toblowski, Judy Greer, Michael C Hall, Kate Mara, Ben Schwartz, Alicia Witt, so many more. In your elegant dramedy about four siblings that lose their shit when a book is written about them, of course, Peep World. What was it like making that movie with so much talent? Great, great. Um, I think you did you mention Leslie Ann Warren because she was in it too. Um, no, but yeah, yeah, they, they, they were great to work with. It was shot in 21 days. That's, wow, that's a, I mean, that's a lot of dialogue in because it was a very dialogue heavy movie, right? And it was shot in um, for like half a million dollars or a million, no, no, a million dollars. So it was a labor of love for most people. Labor of love. So it was like getting actors and convincing them to do it was, um, well, the script was good, so it wasn't, it didn't turn out to be that hard. That, that's what it felt like with seeing all the actors in those roles. It seemed like it was like on the independent level. A lot of the times you get act, actors or actresses to be in your film because they're looking for something that will spice up their reel, something mm-hmm. that'll prove to the casting directors that they can do more than what they've been seen doing. I know for Rain, that was a big motivation. Um, but when we, we got to Raji, uh, who's terrific to work with. Mm-hmm. Um, she had just been nominated for an Academy Award. And I'm going, why are you doing this for me? <laughs> <laughs> and she just, I like material. And, and, and she, she told me she grew up watching Boomerang. And the fact that I uh, wrote it with Dave was yeah. a, a factor. Um, I know, and again, I'm going to preface this with saying this was this was on my, this was on IMDb. So if I'm incorrect, <laughs> I apologize. There are but there are rumors, um, which this is what led us to Peep World was that we were fans of Dexter, so we were kind of looking for anything Michael C. Hall. We landed on Peep World, and there was a when Michael C. Hall enters the beauty salon, there's a hand with different colored painted nails, uh, similar to the Ice Truck Killer's trophy in Dexter. And I was wondering if there was any intention to that. No, that had nothing to do with that was just there. So you you operate and from Harry Ballstein to the to the truck the ice truck killer's trophy, you just operate in a wow. world of serendipitous. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, man. It, it, was, it was some it was it was someone who interviewed me recently asked me about a line in coming to America, and they go, you know, that was a, a, a tribute to Star Wars. And I said, no, it's just a line mm-hmm. of dialogue. I go, I've seen Star Wars once. Maybe Dave's seen Star Wars once. And I don't know. I've never seen Eddie mention Star Wars. I'm sure he's seen it. But it's now we're not Star Wars geeks. Yeah. Sometimes they just have, you know, they're That's... happy accidents. Yeah. Okay. So, well, well, we already recorded part of the episode. That was actually one of my facts for the facts section of the episode was that, uh, that there is that that was a oh, call back to so I'm about to strike that. But I'm I'm happy he's here putting out these fires and these rumors, man. <laughs> Until you ask me that question, I never heard. Why don't you subscribe? It'll last longer. <laughs>